Hey y'all, this is another video here, and this is a video where I will be reviewing the DS Lite, and I will also be showing my game collection for the DS Lite. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure to like and subscribe. Alright, so, I am going to be opening this, but first, I'm going to show you the features of this thing. Okay, so here is the charging port. Right here, where you charge it. This is the place where you enter the cartridges, and I have no idea what those two holes are for. So, yeah. Except we got the charging, well, the stylus place where you put your stylus. Next up is the headphone jack, and then the volume slider. And then here is the Game Boy Advance port, because this game this console is backwards compatible with Game Boy Advance games, so, yeah, that's cool. And then there are also some other things you can put in there, which I will show you later. Alright, so the buttons are, there are these LR shoulder buttons. Next up, A, B, well, here. A, B, X, Y buttons. This is the D-pad. The start and select buttons. The top screen, normal screen. And the bottom screen, which is actually a touch screen. You can use your stylus or even your finger. Then here are the speakers. And, yeah. And this is the on switch and this is the startup animation in the sound oops sorry just had the volume down all right this is the sound all right so you touch this and you see the menu, which has a clock, calendar, and settings, alarm, and four brightness settings. Alright, and then there are two things. The picto chat, and basically the picto chat is basically, you can basically just join chat rooms and do chatting chat with your friends or something with other DS's and yes every single time you do a system function the you have to restart the DS it can be a pain but that's just how it works alright next up is DS download play which is basically you go to download stations back in the day, and basically what you do is you download games from there. They had games that you could download, but I don't believe that the download stations are up anymore. Okay, these are some settings you can use. These are just some settings. The system settings are just... The language, the startup manual mode, main menu will automatically appear when you turn the power on, or auto mode, if a DS card or gate or a GBA game pack is inserted, power up, the game will begin automatically. Alright, go back. Basically just some alarm. Uh, time alarm and 
date settings. And yes, the DS is always in 24 hour time. Alright. Next up is the personal information. Just your birthday, your name, your personal message. You can put anyone here. For example, we'll put bruh. Is life. I had no idea why, but I decided to do bruh is life because why not? It's just a little message. I have no clue why it's there, but it's there. Alright, and also your favorite color. You can customize that. The other settings up are just some calibration settings where you can calibrate your touch screen. Test the calibration. Not the best here, but you get it. It's all that jazz, so yeah. The touch screen has been calibrated. All right. This is it just for your alarm? Let go, and yeah. Alright, and so this is my game collection for the Nintendo DS. Alright, so the first games I have, well here is just a few Dragon Quest games. Here's Dragon Quest Hand of the Heavenly Bride 5. Next up is Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen, and Dragon Quest VI, Sentinels of the Starry Skies, which also has another cartridge in here, which is a cartridge for Pokemon Pearl, not Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl. Here is what the cartridge looks like on the front, a cartridge looks like on the front. And also on the back, see these little things here, and it's black. Yeah, it's cool. Next up, we have here, next up is the... Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy Ring of Fates, Final Fantasy IV Remake for the DS, and Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings, and next we have Guitar Hero On Tour and Guitar Hero On Tour Decades. I have the box for On Tour Decades, but... This is Guitar Hero on tour and on tour decades. On tour is the yellow one, on tour decades is the red one. And as you can see, this is where the GBA slot comes in. When you play Guitar Hero, there's this little Guitar Hero pick. Well, this Guitar Hero. 
thing, it's a grip, and it even comes with a little guitar pick. So that's cool. And you basically just plug it into the GBA slot. And you hold it. And open it. And you basically just play it like that. Or with the pick. Like that. So yeah, that is my DS Lite game collection, and also my review, and I believe that the DS Lite, I mean, if you want a sleek console that isn't bulky, but want to play GBA games on it, I recommend this DS Lite, because... You can't play it on the DSi or the DSi XL. But the DSi comes with its own features that I will not talk about. Maybe in another video if I somehow get my hands on one. But that is just, I don't know about that. So anyway, thanks for watching this video and make sure to like and subscribe and tell me what your favorite DS game is. Bye!